that, Kevin went to meet two teams who are putting their rivalry to one side and playing ball, all in the name of a very good cause. It's one of the most eagerly anticipated games in the football calendar. The third round of the FA Cup, with Liverpool taking on locals Everton at Anfield. And not only are the fans bringing a fierce, long-standing rivalry, but today they'll also be carrying something else. Scran and lots of it. More people in the northwest are relying on food banks than anywhere else in the UK. Wow, 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 so much food. So die-hard Evertonian Dave Kelly. Come on, you players. And staunch Liverpool fan Gary Wolfhue are putting their football rivalries to one side to tackle food poverty in Merseyside. And as it's Derby Day, they're hoping for their biggest collection yet. I mean, both sets of fans did a, a drop of food off yeah. Dave. How did this come about? We team food banks were struggling in the city. So in November 2015, stood outside Goodison Park with a meal event. And for the last four years, we've locked up outside the stadium and collected food. Thank you very much, thank you. Thank you. It's not about football, it's not about rivalry, it's just about helping the community. Obviously you're working together today, hand in hand, side by side. Come kick off, will you be sitting next to each other? No. <laughs> no. Stay, no, go straight in there, David. No. <laughs> I will have the absolute pleasure of sitting with 8,000 other Evertonian supporters, all cheering the mighty blues on to victory. Quick prediction on the score, Gary. Uh, one nil, I think. Well, I think only fools predict the results of Derby. <laughs> With just an hour till kickoff, the atmosphere is buzzing and donations are rolling in from both the Reds and the Blues. What have you donated today? Tea bags, uh, coconut milk, soap. That's a whole shopping list you put yeah, you brought yeah, in there yeah, today, yeah, isn't it? I've got some milk in there. A bit of everything really, the stuff, the staple foods that everybody needs every day. On the pitch, the rivalry speaks for itself, but obviously the pitch, we're all people at the end of the day. People are relying on it for one reason or another, doesn't matter what you are. At the end of the game, regardless of, of, the, of the result, will you both be together? I think there'll be a definite silence because <laughs> there's a likelihood one of us is going to be deeply yeah. upset. <laughs> all the donations are in and it's time for kickoff. After 90 minutes, Gary's prediction of a 1-0 Liverpool win comes true. Get in! Meanwhile, over at North Liverpool Food Bank, Dave's not impressed with the results on the pitch. You know all right? Good, good mate, how are you? Miserable as sin. But it has been a victory for the food bank. Gary and Dave have collected over a ton of food. That's double what they usually get on match days. As you can see from what we've experienced today, their generosity continues to blow our mind. Manager Simon Huthwaite says donations from today's game will provide three days of food for 90 people in crisis across North Liverpool. Last year we turned over around 90 tonnes of food um, and the food that, that we collect at Everton and Liverpool home games uh, accounts for 25% of our food income for the year. Yeah. So that's the equivalent of 3,000 people being fed by just ordinary guys going the match uh, week in, week out. I think that's the last one, Matt, Sam, and we can go on. Dave wants other football fans around the UK to follow their lead and set up collection points at every major ground. Our ultimate goal is for every single supporter attending every single game to donate one tin of food and to eliminate food poverty. Oh, thanks, Kevin. Honestly, wasn't that fantastic? Absolutely. Dave, Gary, Simon, everybody in that film, and just the generosity there, you know, that, that yeah. it just, it's the heartbeat of Britain. The thing is, though, if they did it for all football games, imagine. Wow. 90 tonnes of food in a year from that ground. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, if you could multiply that up, what a superb thing to try and champion. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, this is a stat for you, though. Apparently, there are more food banks now in the UK than McDonald's. So, I know, there are about 1,300 McDonald's and yeah. over 2,000 food banks. And, of course, these food banks all rely on volunteers uh, like 